game okay. takes place. The women's Barbarians will play their first match against Munster. 1,019 caps in the women's Barbarian squad. And recognition and status long overdue. And the men in a terrific position here, but they will know because so often they've worn the black of the opposition that this is a fragile lead. Forster kicks, finds Havili. Another Crusader, Perinara, to Hames. Move! Again, it's that really aggressive press defence from the Barbarians. It's been excellent, hasn't it? It's for feet up. Finding himself down the wide channel, he will not have any problem there. Romano, and he shows what he can do as a ball carrier. Ben Barrett to Scott Barrett. Perinara. Bowden Barrett switches play to find Tuanga Farsi. Romano. Thwaga Smith dipping that shoulder in Release. again. Typified that defensive effort in the first half with Smith. It's a real nuisance for the All Blacks at the breakdown. Going up against this man at seven, Ardi Saviet. Release nine. Want to get the better of things in this second period. La Marpe to to Manavalu. Again, coming in field, looking for the ball. Barrett to La Marpe. Scott Barrett, course for it, and on the charge. Pick up by Harris. Stay out. Away. New Zealand's turn to set up camp on the opposition line, Bowden Barrett. Oh, no, get away from there, hands away! Different start to he's the off, first he, period no, when no, the Barbarians the were doing this. And because of him, he cannot place the ball back and then you put in over the ball, OK? Number two. Strauss. Off his feet, all over the ball, no release. Much better That's why you couldn't New get Zealand. the ball back and then you got in afterwards. That was recognisable as the All Blacks there, and it was Bowden's brother, Scott, playing the role of Brody Rotaric, who's at home at the moment. Just watch the quality of this pass. La Mape is the man who carries straight. Super ball there. And then as it carries on, Scott Barrett carries so well. Picked a big, tough, straight line. Again, soft hands, and then he's just cruising over the gain line. Super stuff from the second row. Yeah, you can hear Steve Hansen now, you can hear him half-time, he'd been sitting there going, right, we don't panic, we made far too many mistakes in that first half, all we need to do is go back to basics, we need to go back to our strengths, let's uh, get those strong runners getting over the gain line, let's just calm down, let's not panic, let's just make sure we control what we can do, especially with the ball in hand. And Foster alongside, Steve Hansen, Mike Cron as well, Mike Cron will be having a close look at this scrum. Down, 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 that is Nigel Owens. Well, Mike Crom will be delighted with the way New Zealand scrummage, especially throughout the Rugby Championship. They've certainly superseded South step, Africa step. now as the dominant scrum in the Southern Hemisphere. And, and I think Eddie Jones made the point in the week, there's probably the best test match scrum there is at the moment. And this is a great step, position step. for them. It's not their first team scrum, but scrum is a, a psychological and a technical thing in New Zealand, masters of them both. And this is a very important one. Just as the Barbarians set the tone in the first half with their early score, New Zealand will look to do the same. It could be one that leads to equalising in this match. And Ellis knows that he tries to get in quickly on Perinara, but Perinara has got very quick feet. And gets away from his opposite number. Now it's Ardi Savia. And still Ardi Savia is looking to set it back and does. Barrett to Romano. Tackle comes in from Moanga. You just wonder what is being created now wide. And Barrett's probably thinking the same here. As Naholo waits. And it's a Barbarians penalty. Harris. 
tremendous defence there. Bowden Barrett wants to put some width on that ball, and the Barbarians are going defence into attack. Ellis with the tap, Forster hoping he gets the ball back. Did he get a little touch on that first? Well, no, says the referee, it's play on. Smith and Buckman going with him, and look at the speed of Smith here. The open side tries to get a hand on it, it's brilliant defending. It's carried over by Naholo, sliding on this greasy surface. Quacker Smith and Harold Forster showing their national coach what they can do. Quite brilliant from the Barbarians. Benny will have been out of his seat at that counter-attack. They get the penalty, Forster and company think, let's go for it. Little shot there on Ardy Surveyor. You could see that, I mean, on another day, <laughs> that's a penalty. But Nigel Owens used the word empathy, and Forster's done ever so well there. And the speed of Smith there is giving Naholo a real race. And the Highlanders' wing can do little else other than go under the post. Very clever play from the open side with a lived-in face. Great pace there in the end from Naholo, but brilliant from the Lion flanker. Barbarians have changed their props. Ben Franks and Ruan Smith coming on. And New Zealand have brought on Sam Kane, Tawira Caballo and Lima Sopoanga. Are you hearing me? Well, Nigel Owens wants to Time's talk off. to Rowan Kitt about... Just here now, Nigel. Yeah. ...a little push from... Well, more than a little push from Forster. It looked like it at the time. That's a certain commentary there, it's Miles. He's given him a shove. If it's a fully-fledged test match, it's a penalty. It's not much, but yeah, it it's is not a shove, within Nigel. the rules. Yeah, OK. Hey, I, I don't like this, but there is a shove that's probably prevented him getting the ball, and for that reason only, I am going to go back, OK? Back we go. No, wait. Well, Nigel always knew that the booze would come, but he's absolutely right. It has oh, to be I'm fair. On, I'm on, I'm on. You know, empathy only goes so far. No, put yourself in a New Zealand situation. If you're Steve Hansen watching this game, Barbarians win, ball, and that's the winning try no that comes issue, from that. I feel he prevented him from getting, potentially getting the ball, and that's why. Right. Otherwise... I'm happy to show a bit of empathy. Yes, empathy with the Barbarians. There is a push that does prevent... Only goes so far. It has to be fair to New Zealand as well, and rightly so. And Nigel Owens has made the correct call. I thought Rowan Kitt, the TMO, was very calm as well. Oh, horrible missed penalty. Straight to Sarvia. Oh, and that's loose. Lamarpe to Leonard Brown. And it's Smith again. Stay back. Barrett. Sopoanga offloads to Lamarpe. Kerbalo, the new scrum half. And again, it's a breakdown penalty. He's on his feet. Wanting to contest. And that's He's exactly feet. what the Barbarians have done time and time again. I'm just loving watching Andy Ellis, 33 year old, full rule black scrum half. He's bouncing around like a jack-in-the-box, delighted you, every time a penalty goes the way of the Barbarians. And not for the first time, that is a significant penalty won by the Barbarians' defence. They relieved the pressure, not with a tap this time. Quagga Smith. Well, he's using his speed to great effect. Great power on the hit, he's had a superb game, a very fine season for the Lions. He's a, he's a real prospect. He was the top forward try scorer, wasn't he, in Super Rugby this season? Well, you can see why, he plays with pace, but, you know, defensively, that guy's got an attitude. Outstanding. Wait, Strauss, wait, wait. taken by Bird. I wonder if they're going to bomb Bowden Barrett, who's now dropped back to full-back, the Sopper Wanger at fly-half. Ellis. Trying a cunning little chip in behind, doesn't quite work for Savir, and it's to Manavalu. Sopawanga to Barrett to Lamarpe. Will afford another interception, but it's going to Naholo instead. Comes back the other way. Kerbalo. Does he 
Show himself, no, he doesn't. He's all the time looking for support, knew there wasn't quite the angle. Good offload from Sopoanga to Savir, but it's stolen by the Barbarians. And look at this, got all kinds of options here as Smith goes again. Ball inside a really good one. Also, back to Smith eventually. Little juggle from Forster, it's those two again. And the Barbarians turning defence into attack in a flash, as we know they can. And keep doing against New Zealand, that's the point. Lua to a little show, and he's off again. Whoa. Down goes La Marpe and Bird, who's won that? New Zealand's the answer, or it should have been through, goes Ellis, referee plays advantage. Romano. Again with Kerbalo down on this near side inside the Barbarians half. It's one of those moments where you just wonder if the player had gone himself. But I think he knew deep down he wouldn't have made it. Little flip off the floor to find Bridge. The referee going all the way back. No clear advantage there. Let's watch it again. Well, Quagga Smith has had a monstrous game. I don't know how many rips he's made. I don't know how many metres he's carried, but he isn't suffering. Look at him, he's looking inside for support all the time. He knows he's going to run out of steam at some stage. He start looking, yeah, come on, where's my support? Yeah, there it is. And he's still going, picks up the bobbling ball. It's a good pass by Smith as well. He was really sucking in the big ones there, wasn't he? And, and then his mate on the other side of the back row, Stephen Luatua. What a performance he's played. Now, he gave the Lions all sorts of problems when the Blues beat them in the second game of that tour. And we all said, how can New Zealand let Lua Tua go? And he's been brilliant again yeah, today. Five, but, of course, please, Hansen knew there was number a guy five. called Fafita. Take Not one. to mention Liam Squire. But that's why. Off goes Dominic Bird, who's not a parakeet. And on comes Billy Britz. Who oh, actually might be. Oh, it's hair, not feathers. They lose a bit in the line out, but Billy Britz is a very mobile player. He has been a real star, a, a cult figure for the Sunwolves, and it's great to see him here at Twickenham now, playing with this powerful Barbarians team, a big ball carrier. It's a good bench the Barbarians have got. Okay, he's on. He's on. Of inexperience on the New Zealand release bench today. Back and away, release back. The likes of Duffy and Al Moore, Tumunga Allen and Perry. <laughs> ben Franks against his country. But an Irishman. Older brother of Owen, who's not on this tour for New Zealand. It's turned into far from a tap-and-go game of rugby from New Zealand's perspective. And this is a game they would not like to lose after Australia beat them. And here comes another aspiring Kiwi in Mitchell Drummond, the Crusaders scrum half. With the man he's up against, Tawira Kerbalo, heading off to La Rochelle. He knows that he could go flying up the ranks. It's fair to say Andy Ellis played really well, led the team superbly. That's good from Fafita. Good hands, good agility. Still looking for the first points of this second half. It's not for the want of trying. It's interesting there, wearing 20, right at the base, Sam Kane. Now, that is experience to bring off the bench. Man who's led New Zealand on two occasions. It's run 50 caps, no caps awarded today, but it feels like it... At the moment, it feels like a test match here for New Zealand. Full-blooded test matches. La Marpe being driven on. Held up. And held up. Just to pile up, forward black, strong black on. The important thing from a New Zealand perspective now in this half is to play a far more rugby in the 22. And they said themselves that uh, 
Whitelock made the point, Barbarians had a lot of territory and plenty of patient possession. New Zealand will be looking to just force the tackles and maybe just release someone like Naholo. Barrett, of course, is no longer now the pivot at fly half. He's shifted to full back and he has free roll to roam where he will. Ruan Ackerman comes on, just see Sam Carter drifting through the shot there to say goodbye. Ruan Ackerman of Gloucester, where of course he plays underneath the stewardship of his father, Johan. So some Gloucester socks out, we've seen the Bristol socks of Stephen Lewatur and the London Irish socks of Ben Franks. It's been a sequence of scrums this half where there's been pressure. In fact, New Zealand have had quite a lot of territory and they haven't turned that territory into points, which is very un-all blackish. Great defence, great credit to the Barbarians, where Smith has led the defensive vanguard brilliantly. I should say that Luke Whitelock right. takes over the captaincy in the absence Set. of Andy Ellis. Number eight Pressure locks up, down at the back here. A little bit nervous about what New Zealand might produce. German Pike tries to put a little bit of pressure on them. Curvalo, it's another advantage, so a free play here, and Laumape clearing away in no uncertain terms. <laughs> that is advantage over. The minibus finds overdrive, nothing going to stop him. He's been one of the New Zealand's better players today. He's run straight and he's run hard. Plays alongside Barrett. Super rugby level scored a hat full of tries along with Vince Asso. Nothing fancy there. Checks himself, smashes through the first tackler. And Smith's there trying to make the tackle, but nothing he could do there. The momentum sends him away. Little check there, blast through his fellow Kiwi. Straight straight through Sopuwanga. Ah, uh, Sopuwanga. Moanga. That is a hit, and that is a finish. And straight through Richie Moanga. Nani Laumape enjoyed that. Mini bus. Mm. I think he's got at least 20 seats. Get on the pavement, get out of the way. 17 all. New Zealand get to parity. Well, Richie Moanga wouldn't have enjoyed that, but there's a lot of fine players who are not going to stop that man at full tilt. Rolling up their sleeves and getting ugly, but it was very effective. Just revealing to the crowd, the new men on the field, Perry and Tupelotu. For New Zealand. Oh, he took nobody out six. Tim Perry in cat, as I said, won't get one for today, but he'll get an experience here. And Naholo will get the ball. And who's going to stop Naholo from there? It's a terrific tackle. From Bridge, who needed every drop of his pace there, but it's still on here for New Zealand with Savir. And Lamarpi again has got a real taste for it now. We saw from his reaction from his previous score just how much he wants it. Wants this turnaround. Sam Kane. <laughs> some appeals for a try, and they've got it. And New Zealand suddenly have the lead. Sense of impending inevitability at the moment. The Barbarians didn't deal with that high ball. George Bridge made a brilliant tackle. On Naholo, but by that stage, the defence has sprinted backwards. They're not in control of the situation now, it's the New Zealand attack that is. And even though there's a bad pass, they've just got the drive and the power. Again, the minibus, Lamape heavily involved. But Moanga, who has not been convincing in that full-back role, Naholo puts his team on the front foot. And Sam Kane is the man at the end who is going to finish it. But Laumapi steps through Lau. He steps through uh, Lua Tua, carries two more tacklers, 
And then Sam Kane is going to pop in. And again, it ain't a thing of beauty, but it's the lead. Comes from New Zealand, putting the ball high in the air, box kick, old-fashioned rugby, a fly half, filling in in the full-back position, couldn't deal with it. 30 seconds later, New Zealand lead. Kane, a leader in waiting. This man, the leader today. Bowden Barrett. All good, mate. One of the things we were coming to And a flick of a switch. Could be the Barbarians trailing by seven. Can Barrett add the extra two points? He most certainly can. And we go to Will Green with Will. Different proposition now. Yeah, it's an interesting situation. I always think when you play the All Blacks, have 10 or 12 points from score. What does the score look like? It's an extra 12 points that like Jeff Boycott talks about in cricket. Because their ability to score and then score again, the classic Kiwi double strike. How many teams have we seen competitive at 60 and lose by 30? The key is now to try and get some pill and some territory. The short kicking game has just given it back to them too often. And when play was pulled back, Forster, it was a push, wasn't it? Nigel Owens right to give it. Oh, 100%. Totally, totally. I mean, you, 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 Nigel Owens knows it's a barbarian's game and there's 60,000 people and they want to see length of the field tries. But there's laws. Uh, there's no complaints from anyone on our side. Uh, he didn't see it first time, who would? People are travelling and running hundreds in ten and a half seconds out there. Big H at 12, he's a big old unit. Quagga, Smith flying down the field. They checked, they penalised, they go back. No complaints. But the next... I mean, how many times do we hear it? when we're in commentary, the next score. They, we, have, we start chasing 10, 12, 14 points behind in this weather. It becomes a very, very difficult last 15 minutes. Thanks, Will. Great stuff, mate. Thank you. He hasn't had that much ball, but uh, Wasaki Naholo has had a hugely influential Set. game. Hold it there. Been involved in so much that's been good with New Zealand. Keep it up, Brass. Hold it there. Keep it up. And use. 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 Kilbarlo does use it to find Sopawanga, and he goes round on the loop from Marpe. And goes looping in a different way now. Tackled again, of course, by that man Smith. Kerbalo. Well, this is going to land on Twickenham turf and therefore could go straight to Nathan Harris. It's turned right around for New Zealand. Even the bounce of the ball there. And the men in black will start to feel now that they have this one. Well, again, it's a kick that the Barbarians simply cannot handle. They're going to be disappointed that this one hits the turf of Twickenham. Kerbalo's come on, he's a very tenacious player. He's found a bit of space. And it's all too easy for Harris there. Just a moment in decision there. I think Bridge and Surveyor between them aren't quite sure. And Harris, out with an ACL for so long, is back and he's over for another New Zealand try. And now they are starting to power away. His try score against Wales in 2016 as a replacement. Um, back with you next week on touch for the in that first test, and then, as you say, tore that ACL August 2016. But he's back now, and he is part of the mix. I'm, uh, I'm Very competitive mix with Asafo Almua breathing down his neck. Bowden Barron again with the pressure easing all the time. Two more. Scott, we said in the first half it was the All Blacks basics letting them down. Is it a case that the Barbarians are struggling in that aspect now? Yeah, well, what happens there is the fact that, you know, when you come together, you've got a five day turnaround from the time that the, the, the team uh, turned up to the hotel. It's very easy to concentrate on the 15, and you make some uh, reserves, you, you put the subs on, and all of a sudden things start 
not quite to run as they did in the first half. But I like that with the fact that the basics errors you talked about in New Zealand game in the first half, what they've done is gone back to basics in the second half. They run strong, they've been hard, they put the ball in the air, they've capitalised from the barbarians' mistakes. So New Zealand are just going away every day, New Zealand rugby barbarians at the moment just chasing it. They are, Scott, and they're going close to that New Zealand line and his. Drummond, they need a score now, they really do. Akka van der Merwe's come on, the angry warthog, as they call him. And the two up, a little bit angry at times today Black himself, but the referee steps in and awards the penalty. Tua Pilotu will have to come back. The Barbarians have a chance, they need it. There's still a quarter of this match to go. Time is still not totally against them. It's a great tackle by Tamana Valu. Here you can see Surveyor, who hasn't really found any space today. And there is Luatua, who's been tremendous, running into a brick wall. Tamani Valu, absolutely superb. His timing off the left wing is good, his technique is magnificent. It's one of the best tackles you'll see. Last year, a winner for the Barbarians in South Africa. Stephen Lua to okay. well, Nobody could have given more than he has today, and this will be a concern to uh, Bristol, who released him for this match, but that was not part of what they would have had planned. Let's hope this is not too bad for Stephen Lua to, or indeed Bristol. All the forward replacements have been used, apart from I think Dylan Hunt. He's not out there yet. He's stripped down, ready to come on, wearing 23. They've gone with the extra forward, and perhaps just as well now with injury to Lua Tua, who's had a quite stunning afternoon. Yeah, fantastic performance. I mean, he was... Uh, he tormented the Lions, didn't he? And he's come back and he's... Through his performance, through his actions, he's really said to uh, Steve Hansen, don't forget me. Well, Andy Ellis certainly played his part. Let's hear from him now. He's with Graham as Lua Tua goes off. Miles, thank you very much indeed. Andy Ellis, my notes say that you're 33 years of age. But watching you play today, you looked about 16, 17. How much have you enjoyed that? Oh, so much fun, you know, this is, uh, we talked about it all week, this is what the game's all about, you know, men coming together and having, having good fun and just loving what they do, and um, I think, by the way we played tonight, you, you probably saw that. You've done some fantastic stuff, but the game looks in the last seven minutes or so, 21 points to have slipped away from you. Why, and how do you get it back, Andy? Oh, we knew it was going to take an 80-minute performance, you know, the All Blacks are always very strong in the last 30. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep trying, we're, we're down there now, we're five metres out, so hopefully we can uh, get one back and uh, she'll be game on again. Andy, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, mate. Van der Merwe throws, he'll have to retrieve it as well, and does. Stay back, boys. Drummond. Applause you might hear in the background of all Lua Tua just leaving. Appreciated by the crowd. What they really appreciate now will be another Barbarian score to set up the finish this match. Really That's deserves. A it's a tackle. Let it go. It's a tackle. Come back, boys. The Barbarians. In reality, they're looking for their first points Bandage in this second half. Left. They have a penalty coming. The cross goes Moonga. Leaves it to Drummond. Little step from Bridge. Tackle is good. Ackerman right in there. Go away. Stay out. Smith too, but he's going to leave it to Drummond and then Van der Merwe. We still got the advantage. Mwanga stepping in, then Forster. Last chance coming for Not it. Not going anywhere at the moment. Can Drummond supply a killer pass here? No is the answer, but. It's not the end of the world for the Barbars. They will still have Far post from me now. this opportunity. Far post from me. Well, they've got the ideas to come up with scores. Do they have the energy left in the legs now? <laughs> it's New Zealand with the press defence now, and it's the Barbarians 
throwing ball into touch as New Zealand were doing in the first task. It's a real reversal. 19 was one of them, but there were several inside him as well. Oh, hang on, I've just got a blood coming off. Don't worry about Romano that. coming off. So back comes Scott Barrett. Come just keep it, whatever you're doing, keep it within the lodge. Okay? Well, these days, your work is never Why really done until that final whistle. Barrett back and back to defend. Go back. If the contest is to return, you feel the Barbarians have to score now. Drummond to Forster. Lost now, boys. White lock stopped. Needs help from Ackerman is going backwards. They're two big men, so the drive is Reload pretty furious that. there from Scott Barrett and Adi Sabir. Adi Sabir has come much more into the game in this second half. So too New Zealand, Coming but he, he has been Off prominent. Scrum, there he is getting the congratulations. Well, he's a front foot player, isn't he? He's an outstanding footballer, full stop, but he's a very dynamic ball carrier in the first half. His team weren't going forwards. They were losing the collisions. Now they're just starting to turn that around. And that's so often the case with New Zealand. He's there with a hit. Barrett's over him as well, just making sure the Barbarians go backwards. Crouch, find, set, hold You're it there. Pretty solidly set in at the moment. Keep it up, keep it up. Ews. Hands away. Amarpe again. Come back, Black. The Brits couldn't get through for the charge down. He's got protection around the fringe there. The referee has got to give that taken out in the air but the barbarians are looking for buckman on that far side he just loops the ball inside might come back to buckman it does one they call the barracuda Hands away, back you come. smith is just away, smith back. as far as i know apart from uh Vantage is over now lads Quacker, it's first name Vantage it's is over. birth name albertus but Quacker it is so when you've got a Quagger, you might as well settle with a Smith. Bridge has the ball. And so too now Forster. Another player who's had injury problems the last couple of years. Lost now, lost now, you're off your feet. He's starting to threaten. And Smith. And Merva. The Warthog. You're off your feet! And Drummond. Where's this one going to land? They have to be accurate Backwards. with these little chips. Backwards. And it works for Moanga and the Barbarians this time. So waits, but the offload from Forster inside, picked up by Mwanga, who's the first try scorer of the afternoon, supported there by Dylan Hunt. He needs to get back in there and does. Release, that was very available, let it go, Black, let it go, Black. Mwanga can't just find a way at the moment. Good offload, though, from Buckman. It was a joy to watch again that pass. Some, some terrific offloading today from both sides. Now, can Brits get on the end of this? He's got support as well. I think they got it down, both Barrett. Brits is just making sure that they did. There's echoes of our old mate Adam Jones, isn't there? Barbarians, <laughs> 13, please. Brits is a great. Great character, huge time competitor. Time no, no, my call on the air call was... Nigel Owens not fooled by that clever little kick. As it's booted through by the Warthog, you're going to see that Barrett just waits for it. 
to go over the 22. Maka van der Merwe puts his hand up, but he knows the fly half has got there first. Had a look, wasn't waiting here, so we've got to go with the top of 22. Okay? Just confirming the ladies' set of changes for you. One of them, Matt Duffy, coming on for Yosaki Naholo. Duffy, the former rugby league man, Melbourne Storm, 27 years of age, coming to it quite late. Certainly not a baby, as Steve Hansen said this week, but a whole lot of experience in the other cove, which will stand him in good stead. He's very good on the high ball. There you can see Barrett just wait so he gets over the 22. Naholo against Julian Surveyor. There's no doubt at all today. Of the two 14s, it's the All Black that's gone better. Good performance. Well, Van der Merwe was trying to claim the try there. That was his hand and not Barrett's. Referee didn't want to have another look. Nor indeed the TMO. So the Barbarians stay at 17. Sloppy pass from Drummond. Well, in front of the kicker there. Inside New Zealand. And it's called, rightly so. It's back for the knock on. Now we're just seeing if there's anything in. See why Aka van der Merwe's got a call there. There's some certainty there, but it's a frame by frame, and it's gone, isn't it? I think he might become a very angry warthog. Yeah. That's right, we're taking it halfway then, but it may be easier if you want to get the space out. Certainly enough doubt for it to be checked. He's saying now to Lawrence and watch himself. Brilliant, we got the Mexican wave. On a not very Mexican night. Bring on the tequila. You know, Sombrero today might just keep the rain off. Ideal. He's just drifting in at the uh, low end of the stairs. Great for the viewing position of those behind. Score then for the Barbarians. Right. Set. And they started to think about the possibility of a draw again. And a 31 all draw as well. Drew with South Africa at Wembley last year. <laughs> to a Pilotti, that was nice, but then his basic skills just letting New Zealand down for the first time, but it's been a rarity in the second half. Perry. Twenty-nine years of age. He'll be chuffed with this opportunity. Sopoanga. Stay there, then, stay there. Kerbalo. Vantage, knock on. Vantage. Vantage being played here. Vantage left row. For that neck roll. Is Van der Merwe. Run away! Robert de Preer has come on for the Barbarians. He's operating an outside stay half, out, having out. been part of a Curry Cup win over the Sharks please. a week ago. Ben Franks. Move black! What a play since the penalty award here. Drummond and a little flip there from Moango was lovely. Away, Black, hands away. New Zealand had men there. Here's Smith again. Trying to get it out of the tackle this time. Trying to rip it out of one. 
going nowhere, so referee Nigel Owens blows. Let's go in the previous track. There's no advantage. We've been going nowhere. Nearly here. Is it not too easy? Not about here, about 10 no, metres no, no. backwards. And Nigel Owens locates the spot as Dupria looks to bang this ball deep into New Zealand territory. As you say, that attack looked a little bit tired, a little bit ragged. And at least with the line out, it gives them a chance to amble towards it, but just give themselves a little bit of structure, maybe have a move. They do look a tad tired now. Both teams have had travel to deal with. Tupelotto comes through the line-out, off lows, the referee's calling them back, they've gone forward. That's big two-munger Allen's not heard the whistle. He thinks he might go all the way here. They're still playing on. Shouldn't laugh. Wasted effort for the big tight head replacement. given a few of the other forwards who have been out there a while, a bit of a breather as well. That snap and accuracy of Crackle in the game is slightly gone now. We're looking for bits of brilliance, but it's all just uh, five degrees, five percent slower, isn't it now? Scotty. Hey, talk about bits of brilliance there, but I thought Lutua has been absolutely brilliant. Smith has been absolutely fantastic. But I think since, since Sam Kane has come on, I think he's just given that, uh, just, just the control that the All Blacks need. The contact area has been uh, superb. He's been in that area. His leadership skills. Uh, the way he scored his try, it was almost uh, McCaw-esque. His body angle low to the ground, legs pumping, driving. I think he's influential in this All Black side. Yes, you always felt that Kane was their big insurance policy on the bench. That's why he was there. To do exactly what Scott has just described. Crouch. Bind. Set. Hold it there, lads. Well, there's no doubt the crowd would love no, it's a finish than this. Engaged, though, okay? also love a bit of foot movement from the black to score the a trademark try towards the end, but well, against New Zealand is a lot easier said than done. Hey, whatever happens now in the last five minutes or so, the Barbarians are going to leave this part of London with their heads held high. They've played some very good rugby. They forced New Zealand to tighten their game. The carnival stuff hasn't happened. New Zealand couldn't afford to risk it. People have got their phone lights oh, out, just to a little bit bonfire night on us. Play on, side to side, play on. It's a tackle, please. Drummond. And again. George Bridge gamely having a go, but... Doesn't seem to be the space now for the Barbarians. New Zealand got themselves sorted out more and more as this game has gone on. Which I suppose is why they wanted this fixture at the start of their tour. Release! Let it go, boys. fish to fry and they'll feel a little bit more as if they're into their stride now in the Northern Hemisphere. Barrett away. And here's a chance for a counter attack. <sighs> oh, great respect for his own personal safety there, Bridge. Reload, reload. Sarvia hasn't quite gone for him today, we said that earlier and it still hasn't. 
He's on his feet. Even at this late stage He's won of the, the ball game. And then you played it on the floor afterwards. Just where you are there. Let him go, boys. Okay, Barlow is not in a hurry to tap and go now. Turnover was one. Played back on the floor by one. Supper Wang up. Just wondering about the option. It's time for the Killick and Co. Man of the match. It's been a day for back rowers. I take Scotty's point about Kane's influence, but the guys that played before him, Thea huh? Fafita, was yeah, he's absolutely he's superb. Stephen Lua Tour has been brilliant, but my man of the match is on the losing time. Quagga Smith from start to finish, whether in the tight ripping balls out, making tackles, turnovers, or sprinting in in offence, has been magnificent. The Golden Lion, he is my Killing Co. Man of the match. Not often that goes to a player on the losing side, but Smith has certainly earned that accolade today. Brits comes in, was that a deliberate knock-on? <laughs> Referee decides just it was not deliberately knocked on, a simple it basic one. It and went down, rather than deliberately knocked on. Hand was out and the ball hit the, the hand. Performances like this from Smith today. Certainly for the Barbarians in the first half. They keep on spreading the word in a very positive way. Yeah, yeah. So so the ways. He's not huge, but he's really quick. His technique is excellent, and he has a huge lung. A huge set of lungs and a big heart. And he's got a terrific round of applause there as the Drop. announcer relayed that man of the match decision to the crowd. Set. Keep it up. Keep it up, lads. Find it. Keep it up. Has to be catching the eye internationally at some point. What's the matter, boys? I wonder if New Zealand have got one last trick up their sleeves. Sopawanga orchestrating it. Ten, the captain, wide at full-back. Steve Hansen, he'll be pleased with the way they've corrected the problems in the second half from the first half, but I don't think he'll be overly enthusiastic about the performance of his team today. They'll win the game, but I think possibly as many kudos will go to the Barbarians at least as to New Zealand. It's good again from the referee, Nigel Owens, just Drops. making sure that the players who now know the result Find. don't just let it drift Set. into nothingness at the end of this match. <whistles> Thinking about Find the crowd, the and up. New Zealand wants to take the quick tap to try and entertain that crowd now. Turn over fair, turn over fair, how do we? Right and the Barbarians the have it. Right the that's what the crowd fair. really want. Yeah, man, Quagga Smith was with the man with the turnover. Lost now. It's a bit loose now. The referee gives the penalty. And there's a young man who we will be watching for years to come. And he doesn't get that glory start at Twickenham. He really would have felt he'd been born with a silver spoon in his mouth and he scored then. They'll be frustrated, won't they? How many turnovers New Zealand have conceded? Oh, look at that. Kicked, place kicked across the field. Little idea at the end for the Barbarians. And you know what? It could work. Here's Bridge. The crowd are going to love this. And the Barbarian fingerprints will foot, in fact, all over that try. They promise entertainment and they certainly give it. Well, they deserve that consolation. They're not going to win the match. There's no bonus points for losing by seven. And there's a TMO to overcome yet. But... Okay. Go on. Got you. Yeah. How much empathy are we going to get here? Yeah, if he got his foot to the ball, or was it a knock on back here, please? Let's okay, hope. Okay, checking foot to Let's the ball, hope. or whether it was a knock on. Yeah. Even New Zealand fans wouldn't begrudge this score. 60,000 people will begrudge the decision if it's given against them. 
Not that, that's all fine, that's good. He's placed the ball, for kicked through the that's mark, good. that's legal. We're looking for a knock-on. Let's see how we are. Oh, so, got a boot on it, I think. Yeah, he, he does. It. That looks all right, yeah. Now, does Bridge get a hand in Try and knock good, it forward? Yeah. The referee was about to blow. Wait there, it's white a good off low. Like Bridge is no away. It's a try. I think there's enough right there, isn't that? Yeah, it's all right. It's more than all right. There's a little piece of brilliance to end the game and enable the Barbarians to end that game with a smile. And they deserve that, especially after what they produced in the first half. No disgrace losing to the All Blacks by seven points here. Nine. But the All Blacks win and they respond to their defeat to Australia in the only way they know how, and that is the winning way. But they really had to work hard to get it. Crossfield kick to Vince Arso. And what a very special way to end the game. Will Greenwood celebrating, and so he should, along with Scott Robertson, Robbie Deans, and the rest of those players. They may wear different socks, but they play the same style. New Zealand themselves, of all teams, will appreciate that. The All Blacks are the victors, but rugby didn't do too badly either today.